Whether it's operated as a business or seen as an advocate for the issues of injustice, the black press has weathered the storm, while the men and women behind it have been used as a vehicle for expressing the ideas, opinions, concerns, and actions of the people in their community. The black press. With us to discuss the black press, we have two very distinguished guests locally. We have Eva Doyle, who is a columnist for the Buffalo Criterion, and Barbara Banks, editor for The Challenger. Good evening, ladies, and welcome to Urban Focus. Thank you. What has been the role of the black press? Well, historically, I think um, if you go all the way back to the very beginning, uh, the, the black press started as a, um, a source of um, a communication for blacks in terms of the kinds of injustice that they faced in this country. If you go back to the early pa papers, such as the North Star and the Freedom Journal, uh, a lot of the um, fight against slavery was articulated through the press. So I think the black press traditionally has had a role in terms of um, fighting for the rights uh, for, for African Americans in this country. I think it's important to add uh, that before slavery was ended, there were about 30 black newspapers, 27 to 30 black newspapers in print before we were technically freed. Yeah. And they, as Eva uh, pointed out, spoke to the need to, to free ourselves from slavery. Uh, Ida B. Wells was a pioneer against the anti-lynching. She was an anti-lynching crusader. So a lot of the things that happened to our benefit was a direct result of the voice of the black press in those early years. So we, we, we can say that one of the major responsibilities of the black press is to be sensitized or sensitive to, tell to the, the truth. truth and to yes. put it in perspective.